Governor Dan Patrick removed a state senator from his committee assignment today for refusing to apologize to one of Patrick's staffers. KXAN's Wes Rappaport is in the newsroom with the story. Yeah, we're talking about Kel Seliger here. He's been a member of the Texas legislature since 2004 and held positions on powerful committees during that time. Now he's paying for picking a fight with one of the most powerful people in the state. A Senate showdown. Powerful rural lawmaker Kel Seliger's criticism of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has cost him influence in the state's upper chamber. Seliger has been critical of Patrick in the past and fended off a campaign to oust him from office in the November election. Because they can't beat me at the ballot box, I think they think they, they can, can try and marginalize me, and they can't. It's been a back and forth between these two, Seliger biting back after his committee changes and a Patrick staffer who said he shouldn't complain. It was extremely snide and really unbecoming for a member of, of the staff, the lieutenant governors or my staff. I didn't say anything of the sort, and that assertion is, is in, disingenuous. And I have a recommendation for Ms. Sylvester and her lips and my back end. When asked about why he went after Seliger's committee status. I made those decisions based on a number of factors. You know, he will talk about his motivations, but, but let me point out that, that he didn't endorse me either. And quite frankly, his endorsement would have been more helpful to me than mine to him. In a statement, Patrick says he asked Seliger to apologize, but that Seliger refused. Patrick says Seliger wanted the staffer fired, a deal the lieutenant governor called, quote, unimaginable. West Rappaport, KXAN News. And we still don't know about Senator Seliger's status on his other three committee assignments.